Hey! Welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you guys what I got for Easter baskets this year. Now I'm just going to put a disclaimer out. Um, I see a lot of people online that really like go overboard and stuff for Easter, which is perfectly fine. You do what you want to. But um, our thing and our family is just spending time with each other. So we always have a good time doing that. But I did get some, ba I mean, I always get baskets, okay? But I just don't go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway, this is a very realistic Easter basket video. Um, I'll tell you who these are for. I've got, uh, Logan is 26 and he has a basket. My youngest, Brayden, is 25. He will not be home for Easter and I wasn't able to get anything together to send him, so he got money. Um, so I sent him that and then I've got an Easter basket for, um, Myla, of course, and then Carlene and Carlene's two kids, Ava and Caden, which are Myla's brother and sister. So again, very realistic, but a lot of you guys said that you did want to see one of those videos. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I got. Okay. The Easter Bunny's broke. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with Ava because her basket is right here. Now I still have to like really put these together, but I just, put them together in sections so I could keep everybody, you know, the same. So I got her one of these, it's a light up glider, like one of the styrofoam ones, but you know, fairly nice. And it's been windy. It's been windy. So this will probably be really fun, actually. I should have got one for my house. Um, but yeah, I got her one of these. She also got some cotton candy peeps. Now, does she like peeps? I'm not quite sure, but she got peeps anyway because it's Easter. I also got her one of these little egg coloring kits if she wanted to do this at home. Um, I got her and Kaden both one, but they're different kinds. So I got her this one and it is the neon egg decorating kit. She got a Tootsie Roll bank because everybody needs a Tootsie Roll bank. And I know you guys remember these. They are the, the water snakes. You know, it's got the, the water in it, and it jiggles. I probably shouldn't do that on the internet. Y'all owe me $5 for that, by the way. I'll put my cash app in the description box so I can help pay for this. Anyway, got her that. I also got her these little double bubble gum eggs. These are the best for like four seconds. I got her a little carton of these. And of course, you have to have a stuffy, and I got her this little dog... Easter bunny stuffy right here. So that was for Ava's basket. Now I'll show you what I got for Caden. And in, and for reference, Ava is eight. I could be wrong. We'll go with that. We'll go with eight. So next up we have Caden's and he is 10. Um, so I also got him a glider and his is blue. Ava's was green. That way they cannot fight over them. I got him birthday cake peeps. Is that what this is? Party cake. Party cake peeps. Never had these, but they look good, right? Are you a peep person? Let me know if you're a peeps person or not. Caden also got a Tootsie Roll bank. Double bubble eggs. His decorating kit is the tie-dye eggs. These look really cool. Um, maybe he wants to do these on Easter when I see him so I can help because these look really cool. I love anything tie-dye. And then he got the blue water snake. These are so much fun. All right, here's Myla's. <laughs> now, um, Myla is four months old, so a lot of her stuff is, you know, things that she needs or just whatever okay um so y'all this is so cute so this is like a waffle knit material and i love it because it's short sleeved but it's also got the legs and each side has a little pocket on it and these little buttons are like the little wooden buttons and those are little turtles aren't they cute how cute is that so I got her the one with the turtles on it, and then I just got the same thing, only in like this dusty rose pink. 
These, um, oh, by the way, this is all Walmart, not sponsored. Uh, these are the Modern Moments by Gerber. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. A new little spring sleeper. I love, I just, I love a good sleeper. And little footies. How darling is that? With the flowers, isn't that cute? I love it. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. This is Carter's. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How cute is that? It's like the, uh, like a really light blue and a tan. With the little ruffles around the legs and the arms. Oh, so sweet. So sweet. And then we got her these little gingham shorts with the little elastics around the legs. Oh, <laughs> I got her that. And for the shorts, I got her this shirt and it says smile all day because that's what she does is just smile all day. I thought that would be a cute little spring thing. And then lastly for clothing, um, actually this stuff came from Carter's, like the store, y'all. Mm. These little denim shorts with the tie bow. And with these shorts, I just got a really simple white um, body onesie. And it's got, I don't know if you can, it's got like the little eyelets in it. Can you see that? And then it's got the little ruffly here and across the front. How sweet! And then that will go together. Okay, so also in Mila's basket. We got her little duck. She had to have a stuffy too. And she loves these little crinkle books. Loves, loves, loves anything that crinkles like this. So these are so inexpensive. I think these are like less than $2 at Walmart. And she's already got the ABC one. So I grabbed the number one. And then I grabbed this little fish one. How stinking cute is that? I love it. It's a little book and it crinkles. And then it has this little Velcro tie off thing. You can put it like on the car seat or the stroller or something like that. She's going to love this. And y'all, she's teething. She's only four months old, but she's doing everything that a teething baby does. So um, I've already got her like that little banana thing here at the house. So I went ahead and grabbed the carrot as well because um, it is Easter. This is, this is, anywho, it's a textured silicone teether for zero plus. Nuts. So they can hold on to the little sides here, and then it's got the little rubbery teething thing right there that's supposed to help them feel better on their gummies. So I got that. And then I got this Itsy Ritzy Itsy Pop, and it's the same thing basically, but it's a really cute little mushroom, and it's got these little poppers there, and it's very soft and silicone, um, BPA free, all that good stuff. But yeah. And then it's got like the little nubs down here too. And it's going to be easy for her to hold. She's doing really, really well, like with her hand-eye coordination. And she just found her feet and they go directly into her mouth. Any, any chance she gets. So, um, and then I also got her this little ball. I promise you it's not a dog toy. It's a rattle ball, like for babies. But it's really, it's soft. And then it's got the little rattle ball inside. And it will be easy for her to hold on to and make her noise. So that. That is all that is in Mila's basket. Now, I will tell you, we buy her stuff on a weekly basis, um, and so do I for my children. So, again, not like overboard, you know? And then this is the basket I was talking about. If you follow me on Instagram, I was asking if anybody knew how I could, like, crochet or embroider her name on here because I wanted to do that. I have not found a way to do that, and then I thought about just getting some of that, like, chunky yarn and like Gorilla Glue, <laughs> and like glue it in her name with the yarn. Does that make sense? I don't know. I was kind of shooting for like having a basket for her that would be her basket, like year after year, but I don't know if this is going to end up being the one. I might hit up Etsy like for next year and get one made for her, um, but that was my plan. It just didn't happen. But anyway, she'll be able to use this basket for toys things like that so yay okay so now i'm gonna move on to logan he is my oldest he also just moved so he needs like things for his house and i just got a couple little things like that in his basket because 
I'm always going to get my kids an Easter basket. So I didn't want this to be a whole thing of like houseware stuff, but I sprinkled some in. So I'll show you what I got him. Okay, so his basket is like this little tub thing, so he could use it for something else. I don't know what, but he can use it for something else. And you guys are going to have to tell me, anybody that's got kids, if your kids eat these ever since they came out. Like my kids have been eating these for years, like 10, 15 years. I think they're personally disgusting, but every single holiday, I always have to get them a pack, and it's these um, frosted sugar cookies from Walmart. <laughs> I don't like these, but they love them, so every holiday, I get them some, so Logan got a pack of these cookies. I also grabbed him one of these little Easter Pringles. I thought those were cute, little Easter Pringle can. Um, I also got him... Sour Patch and Krabby Patties because he used to eat these when he was little. He also got some Airhead Extremes. He's not a huge candy guy, but you know, it's for the Easter. A Nerd's Rope. I got him a, what is this? Oh, an original and a teriyaki Jack Link's beef jerky. A toothbrush. Um... I got him some spices. I got onion powder, garlic powder, Ital uh, Italian seasoning, Italian seasoning. Um, I got him some Lowry's, you know, salt and pepper, push it real good. I got him a little thing of this mild barbecue sauce. Um, I got him a hand soap. I also got him some body wash. This stuff. This creme heritage. I don't know. This is the spiced amber. I don't have my glasses. Um, this whole thing might be out of focus. I don't know because I can't see. Uh, this body wash. Oh, it smells so good. Get you some. It smells so good. I also got him the... Coconut Beach Yankee Candle Wax Melts. And then I got him some of the clear mounting tape. He knows what it's for. Um, I also got him a little measuring cup. This really cool pack of socks. There's four pairs of socks in here. And um, I can't take them out, but they're pretty cool. Just like little fun socks. This is the skate line ones. Oh, this is what they look like. I'll show you. Um, one of them has like this little, can you see? So this one is just like a little skater rainbow thingy. Um, this one also says like skateboard stuff. And then there's the checkered ones. And then there's a mystery sock. A little thing of M&Ms. And then I also got him this like little portable speaker for the house. And then the little container bowls. You never, you know, you always need some container bowls at the house, you know. So, that's what I got for Logan. And he is 26. Okay, now for Bodie. Um, he just went last week and got groomed. And he also got three, four toys. So, I didn't go overboard for him. Um, I did find him a new girlfriend. So, yay for that. He got these Stacked milk bone treats. And he got this toy. It's full of the little squeakers that he loves. He will literally just tear every single one of them out. And then I'm going to have this head and this sloppy, nasty, wet. And he's going to want me to throw it. But it makes him happy, so that's what he got. Okay, last but certainly not least, I got a little bit of stuff for Carlene as well. I love this little strawberry bucket. So cute. I got her two of the Deep Blue Waters wax melts. You guys know these are my favorite. I also got her one of the Balance. This one smells so good. This is the Allswell line. Y'all, if you have not, you got to. She also got some Airhead Extremes. I also picked up this Blue Lagoon body scrub by Tree Hut for her. I have went through two of these 
This is probably, oh, my favorite. Oh my gosh, smell that. Smell it. Mmm. Smells so good. So good. I grabbed her a little hand soap too. You can never have too many of these. You can never have too many little hand soaps. I grabbed her two little prime waters. I'm not sure if she likes these, but I feel certain that somebody in the house will drink them. I got a cherry freeze and a strawberry watermelon. I just, honestly, because they were pink. And then I just grabbed her two little Ghirardelli chocolate bunnies. These were so stinking cute. And these were literally the last two that they had. Otherwise, I was going to get myself some. But I might run to CVS too before then and get some of the Russell Stover's eggs. Those are my favorite. Those are my absolute favorite. And of course, I got the grass and everything else to put in the baskets for when I load them all up. But I was thinking, I was like, okay, we're going to do an egg hunt. So I'm going to have to buy all the little plastic eggs. I'm going to have to buy all of that candy. Candy is not cheap, you guys. It's not. And then I was like, you know. Um, so I came across this. This. And there is 125 eggs, and uh, 83 of them have jelly beans in them already, and then 42 of them have stickers in them. There is one golden egg, um, and this was in 1987. You don't have to do anything. Just open the bag and throw them out in the yard. But what I'm going to do, oh, there's two golden eggs. I'm sorry. Um, so... A handful of them, I will probably put a dollar in, and then um, maybe the golden eggs, I'll put a $10 bill in each one of those. I'm not quite sure, but that is it. That's all I got. So those are the Easter baskets for my family for this year, and I think they're going to enjoy them. I hope they enjoy I know they will. I know they'll enjoy them, but um, yeah, that's what I got. So hopefully um, this gave you maybe some ideas if you're still needing ideas for your Easter baskets. I'm not quite sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for coming to watch the video. And I hope you guys have an amazing Easter. I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.